Hey everyone, and today is the 11th in December, um, so I'm gonna do a quick video because it's really late at night, and yeah, um, so I'm going to open up day 11 and see what's inside. I feel like this month is going by so fast. So it is the Bad Gal Liner and Waterproof Bad Gals Finish First, and it's an eyeliner, it's like a pencil one, um, in waterproof and black. So, very kind of interested to try this. I didn't know Benefit had eyeliners. So, that's kind of cool. Okay, so for today's little thing, I'm going to be doing a kind of like quick, easy updo. Um, really simple. Um, my hair is like loosely kind of curled. This is like curls from all day. They look really cute though. Because I like them looser. And this is very appropriate. That's not curled at all. I don't think so. Yeah, it is the ends. Okay, anyways, so what you're going to need is a mirror so you can look into the back. This always helps big time for updos, if you're flattering your hair, curling your hair. Um, I curl my hair and I pull out forward, but then I just kind of shake it going back, so it just have those weird ringlets and things like that. Um, a teasing kind of brush, comb, whatever you prefer. Um, I'm going to use some dry shampoo since it's late at night, some shine spray, which I just sprayed in my hair. Um, hairspray is optional. I'm not using hairspray. And then I'm going to use body pins in gold because I am blonde. Um, and clips are optional, but I'm not going to use them because I know. So anyways, what you're going to do is spray your shine spray. You can use like curly hair, textured hair. Oh my gosh, I can't get this thing off. I hate these caps. I hate them. I hate them. I hate them. You know what? We're not doing the dry shampoo tonight. Um, all the dry shampoo does is add a little extra volume. So what you're going to want to do is part your hair from about, go from behind your ear and part it forward. Like that and pull the rest back. And do the same on the other side. So you have these two little things right there. Then you're going to take all your back section. Um, you can tease this if you want. I'm just going to tease it a little bit in the back just to give myself some extra volume. Just kind of up by the crown. You can take all this and tease it back completely. But I'm just going to kind of lightly go and tease it and just figure where your sections are. So it should look kind of like you pulled it back in a ponytail. Um, the best way to do this now here is to split this into three kind of sections. Again, and this is a nice thing about doing it later on because then the hair looks like junk. Um, not really, but it's got more texture to it. So basically right now I have five sections throughout my head. Um, and I'm just going to kind of loosely pin this first section down. Just kind of loosely. A lot, you want a lot of volume to this, so that's a huge thing. Then you're going to do your second one. What I'm doing is basically wrapping around my finger and kind of pinning it to make kind of a circular bun. Please do not put bobby pins in your mouth like I'm doing. If you're doing this on someone else especially. And that body pin had no grip on it, which was really good. And you might have to resection off your front again. Um, it really doesn't matter. So basically start with your little ponytail on the side. You can twist one one way, twist one the other way, and then keep twisting. And then loosely kind of pin these in on X. Nope, oh, we're doing it the wrong way. They should make a thing to open up bobby pins easier. Okay, so we have these three little buns. Um, mine are not very even because I part my hair funky. You can part it in the middle, but yeah. Now it looks a little bit fun. Okay. In the front, I'm just going to pin this little piece that was hanging. Any pieces that are hanging, just pin them down.
Okay, now what you're going to do is you're going to take your sides. You're kind of going to loosely, depending on how you want them. I kind of want to break this into two parts, like this, and then pin it underneath your little buns in the back. And then you're going to take this side, and I like to twist these for some reason, just like lightly back. I mean, you can make this a lot fuller by teasing it, but this is just quick and easy. And I'm going to take it down in five minutes, so yeah. Um, it would be really cute to add in like a little headband right here, um, where you section it behind the ears, pull the headband there. Um, so yeah, let's see how this looks in the back. Pretty decent. I mean, really simple, really easy. It looks a little bit funky, but if I put like a headband, let's see if I can find a quick one. Yeah, here we go. You could put a headband and it's super de duper de cute. So yeah, that is today's look and beauty for day number 11. I am overtired and I need to get going and take this day on and go to bed. Um, have a good day and bye everyone. Thanks for watching.